The Eno Hammock has seen a sudden rise in popularity recently, so WLCU-TV hit the streets to try and find some answers as to why. I got an Eno because I saw it on television, I think on Shark Tank, and when I saw that I was like, dang, those things look really cool. I wanted to get my Eno whenever um, someone introduced me to them at camp, and I'd always loved hammocks, and so I was like, oh, that's really cool, so I'm going to buy one. Really cool seems to be the appropriate description for the Eno hammock when it comes to college students. However, many like them because they can be set up almost anywhere, and I mean anywhere. Wherever there's trees, you can set up your Eno, so I find that to be really appealing, um, and I just like being outdoors. One of my friends was like, oh, what if you lofted your bed and hung it and had it all year round, and I was like, oh my gosh, and so that's what I did. I lofted my bed, and so now I can use it all the time, not just when I go outside. Unfortunately, though, this really cool and versatile hammock comes with a price. A two-person hammock goes for almost $70, not including the straps necessary to hang them. They are kind of expensive, but they last a while. Like, I haven't had any problems with mine, and anyone that I know that's had theirs for a while, it's lasted. Fad or not, Enos seem like they're here to stay. It's probably a fad thing. Like, uh, like it's just the label, and so people are like, oh, cool, Eno. I do like the Eno just itself because it's comfortable, and I'll continue using mine for as long as I can. Reporting for WLCU-TV, I'm Paul Taylor.